So, let's just get right to it and introduce our first act, shall we? Um, they have been here before and we really love them, so we invited them back. So I want you to give them a warm round of applause. Please give it up for Spinning Images. <laughs> Carefully erected, the earth gave birth to my, my being. being. Expresses the light of what we, we write. Are. Reflections of each other's divinity, reflecting each other physically. So when you see one, when you see one, you see one, you, you see, see three. three. We are spitting images. Chapter one, verse twenty-six, Genesis. With a stroke of a pen, pictures of pain, describing our purpose. We are spitting images. images. Don't, Don't get nervous. Seeing a black man shouldn't set off alarms for the fear of a black planet that you're harboring. Danger, 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 Will Robinson. As if my train of thought calculates the right perception of who I am. Is he a thug? Just because I rock skull caps in a hoodie doesn't mean I'm a hood. Just because I live in a ghetto don't mean I'm up to no good. Is he a gangster rapper? Just because I bust hand justice when I bust from my mind. Just because I know the sounds of guns busting at night doesn't mean I aspire to bust rock. But does he have a job? Or does he sell drugs? Just because my whip is in six figures. Just because my style of dress got slicker. Just because you don't see me slaving for wages on a daily basis. The terror ain't more complaining. How broke is can't Tired and sicker doesn't mean that I'm a drug dealer. And, and with, with all this, you have no clue. You've been tunnel vision, delusions, the media feature. We, we are spitting images, chapter 1, verse 26, Genesis. Genesis. Standing tall with both hands raised, giving the creator praises or reflections of light, concealed in southern spirituals, a pit through costal cotton pickers, and quilted songs of freedom, tattooed in palms. The songs of ancestors resting in saltwater tombs. Africa was the womb, the introduction to America was slavery. Eternity turned into time. Angels into pharaohs. Pharaohs to black people. Still sleeping into the resurrection. Embracing each other as niggas. Oh, no, that nigga. I'm not your nigga. Don't, Don't call, call me nigga, nigga, no matter how you spell it. Embracing the basement of our history. We're deeper than that. Maybe you think I'm dropping seeds without water in my garden. Maybe you think I've been locked up without any ambition to change my condition. Call, call it what you will. will. Call, call it what you want, want but still. still. Education pays my bills. This entertainment is for my clients. And, and I, I refuse to stand here and entertain your thoughts. thoughts. With a stroke of a pen, pictures are painted to express the reflection of my heart. The creator has plans for me. My plan is to re resurrect the resurrection of myself. Expressing light through what I recite. With a stroke of a pen, we begin to paint pictures. We, we are, are spitting spin images. Oh. Yeah. Will I go if I have to go by myself? I have to go by myself. Will I go if I have to go? By myself, not my mother, not my father, not my sister, not my brother. Will I go if I have to go by myself? What have I told you? All you had to do in life is concentrate more on what you want and less of what you don't want. Change your thinking to change your reality. What if every time you thought about the worst case scenario, you switch to think about the best possible situation? What if all you knew was tore down in a second? Home have become a wonder. Your wife and every child she had conceived turned into Hutus and Tootsies where screamed like machetes had childish moments into tears Would you run to the bottle. Fall up in the corner or rebuild? What if one day you woke up, gradually dragged yourself to the bathroom, prepared your toothbrush for the teeth cleaning, looked in the mirror and saw God before you. Your four-year-old daughter's already explored, battery-operated toothbrush in mouth, spit and toothpaste, slobbering down chin, eyes full of sleepy hair, looking like crazy wild monkey sex hanging from the rafters, is God. What would you say to God at that moment? And what would you say back to God when God stops you before you can utter an excuse for being unprepared to meet your maker and says, I am not satisfied with your life. I am not satisfied with your life because you are not satisfied with your life. And I don't create mistakes unless I get a good life. 
You, my friend, are not funny. What if the mirror told you that you were the cause and effect of everything that happened? That you are the sun. Moments, mere little worlds of possibilities you put into your solar system with the gravity of thought. That when you concentrate on what you don't want, you put it into order with all that you do. And eventually those worlds will collide. What if I told you that every moment spent complaining and wishing things was different is a moment wasted in your life? So precious, like looking down the bow of a gun, makes you type out a prayer on your mental computer, hoping it's just enough time to press sing to God, mark urgent before the bullet explodes, sending all that you know into the space behind you. Why waste this time complaining about things you want to change? Change them or move on. Tomorrow is a small child. Want to give you everything you ever wanted in life, and all it wants in return is a hug. Embrace it. Welcome it every moment. Well, I pray. If I have to pray by myself, I to pray by myself. Well, I pray hey, if I have to pray by myself. myself. Not my mother, not my father, not my sister, not my brother. Well, I pray hey, if I have to pray. By myself. I have to pray by myself. Thank you.